Hi everyone, it's the 12th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Can you tell me a few things that people fear or are afraid of? Maybe they're afraid of bugs or the dark. What are some things people do to calm their fears? Maybe they ask someone to come and help get the bug out of the house or maybe ask for a nightlight. In today's gospel reading, the disciples are feeling afraid. Jesus tells the disciples that God knows, loves, and protects them. Listen carefully as I read. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus said to his disciples, Don't be afraid of anyone. Everything that I am telling you in secret, I want you to proclaim out loud to everyone. Don't be afraid of people who can kill only your body. They can't kill your soul. Think more about God, who has power over both your body and your soul. You know that two little sparrows can be sold for only a penny. Yet not even one sparrow dies unless God allows it to happen. You are much more valuable to God than many sparrows. So don't be afraid. If you stand up for me in front of other people, I will tell God in heaven that you belong to me. If you don't stand up for me in front of other people, I will tell God in heaven that you do not belong to me. The Gospel of the Lord. And we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So from this reading, what kind of fears do you think Jesus was talking about that his disciples had? Well, they're afraid of being persecuted for their beliefs. And what reassurance does Jesus give to his disciples? That God knows our fears and that we are very valuable to God. And if we persevere during persecution, we will be rewarded in heaven. Jesus said that God knows that even if a little bird, a little sparrow dies, does that mean that God knows us well or just a little? It means he knows us very, very well because we are so much more valuable than, than the birds. Jesus tells us we do not need to be afraid because the Father knows us and cares for us and most importantly, loves us. So with that in mind, let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. We pray for our church leaders that they may lead the flock of God entrusted to them with courage and humility. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who suffer because of their faith, that the Lord may support and strengthen them. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in our homes and families in the troubled areas of the world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the sick of our parish, those at home, nursing homes or hospitals, and we pray that in their saddest moments, the care of family, friends, and neighbors may bring them hope and peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, and for all those things we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We're going to say a prayer to the Holy Spirit. Some of you might know this. And so if you do, just say it along with me. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. See you next week.